What's up? Happy Fourth of July. I, ooh, I, what up, crew? Good morning. Happy Fourth. Man, feel great today. Slept like a rock. That fasting and then eating last night just completely crashed me. Um, but I slept the best I've probably ever slept in a long time. Um, I can't even remember how uh, a time I've slept that well uh, in the recent, <laughs> in the, the recent, uh, I don't even know the word. I haven't slept that well in a long time. <laughs> but man, I'm gonna head to the gym right now. I had some uh, Thornton Proof coffee this morning. Made it and Land of Lean, I have two videos going up today on that one. I'm doing a physique update, how I look currently, and then also dropping that intro one, which was postponed last night, because I couldn't get that program to work, and it was like, well, about one in the morning or so. So I'm dropping both those videos simultaneously, and gonna continue to go from there, man, but I'm excited about this, uh, this journey ahead with this keto. I feel fantastic, still so much to learn, um, but I, I, that's what I love about um, the health and fitness industry is it's an ever evolving uh, journey I guess you could say of trying to find what works for you because when I was younger I always tried to buy I'd be the big like wanted to be the biggest guy and then um, that I didn't achieve that so it got like you get discouraged a little bit or you want to be the most shredded guy I didn't achieve the most shredded then you get sort of discouraged with that but when you start really focusing on why fitness is for you, and I found this out a long time ago, like I was, I guess when I started bodybuilding when I was 23, I didn't do it for anybody else. I did it for me because I enjoyed it. There wasn't uh, a place that I could get on stage or somebody say like, your first place, your last place, as long as I was happy with my performance and how I looked, that's all that mattered to me. And I feel like I'm back to that stage of when fitness was extremely fun for me. And it was just like my personal feat because I don't know if a lot of you know this, and I don't know if I've talked about it a little, a lot on here, but I, in college, in high school, I used to weigh 225 pounds uh, around that weight. And I was a bigger guy pre pretty much from, I would say like fifth grade all the way through my senior year. But I was like a leaner 225 once I got into high school. I had my knee surgery in high school, and then um, I ballooned up. I I blew up. And I got up to 260 pounds, and I was I was a big dude. I was fat going into college because I was eating the same, and uh, I was uh, racked up with my knee, so I couldn't uh, work out for a few months or whatever. But then I had like this huge shift, and um, my brother Trey and his his wife Felicia. They had this program P90X that I jumped on. I was like, I think my sophomore year in college or something like that. And I went from 260 down to 180 and I was shredded. And that started my whole love and passion for fitness. And I'll make a different video outside of this vlog that explains my journey on where I came from and uh, who I am and how I got to where I am today. But that's for another time. But that was sort of like the short story and like a brief thing. But yeah, I think I'm back at that point again. Um, I know I've rambled on, rambled on a little bit, but plan for the day is I'm gonna hit the gym, come back, knock out some work on the computer, and then we'll just take it as the day comes, man. Uh, I feel really fantastic today, though, stretching out the neck. Let's rock. I've been home for a while now. I went to the gym over at Mesa, the LA Fitness. Really good workout. I knocked out a chest workout. Um, everything felt good. The shoulder hurt doing more of like the dip motions, so I cut that out of the program and just focused on like extension movements for the tricep and the chest uh, or for the press and then extensions for the chest. So I've been up here on the computer working on this Adobe After Effects. After Effects almost tripped and I finally figured a piece of it out. So I have two computers running right now. The first one here, second one here, and I'm getting all the videos edited out right now. So there's a piece that I have to add into the After Effects over here. So I'm kicking the video over through an airdrop 
Once it's all done, I'm posting two videos today. I'll be up and ready to run here in a little bit. 11 at night, 11.10 at night. Getting off the computer now. I've been on all day editing videos. I have two Land of Lean videos up. One of the Land of Lean videos of my physique update, it didn't go up on Facebook for whatever reason. It's still processing. It's been processing for like two hours already. So I'm not sure what's happening with that. I'm letting it sit and hopefully it does its thing while I'm not looking at it. <laughs> and then just finished editing, editing a vlog. Um, yeah, so it was a long day of getting all of that stuff knocked out. And yeah, that's a lot of workload, man. I have to offload it for sure, but at least I have the template that I want to use. So when I do outsource it and um, get the documentation together for the Land of Lean channel, uh, so I can outsource that to my my VAs and my editors and stuff like that. But man, I'm really excited. That's a got a lot of good feedback on the on the LOL stuff. When I say LOL, I mean Land of Lean um, video. Really surprised by that, man. It pulled in a lot of different people. So I think that'd be a fun one. Fitness has been something I've been passionate about, and I've I said it to my pops earlier, my brother too, that my brother Voight that like the past few years I haven't had that same fire for fitness that I've had in the past especially when I was in college and I don't know what it was just something um, clicked that I wasn't I was still able to work out but I just didn't have that fire um, that I did when I was competing in bodybuilding but now I've just finally caught that fire back I'm feeling awesome I feel like I can add a lot of value to the community and especially learn from a lot of people and bring together a positive environment for people to learn and grow together. And it's not really tied down to one area of fitness and um, fitness or nutrition. I mean, I'm talking about keto, CrossFit and bodybuilding. That's because that's what I know. But hell, man, just no matter where you are in, in the fitness area, if you're doing yoga or whatever, it's just I want those people to come into the community as well and share their knowledge. And that's the type of minds and experts I'm gonna have join the show, join the show, join the channel, and you know, share their advice because every area of fitness can work together synergistically and create that overall health package that we're looking for. Yeah, purple in the sky, cruising